one day I'll be completely clean and organized. Hi lovies, it's Shree. Um, I thought I would do sort of like a let's have a chat kind of chat. <laughs> um, I've had a YouTube channel now for over a year and I probably should have addressed this sooner. Let's get real talk. Um, when I started YouTube, I actually did not have a cruelty free channel. I had a natural makeup channel. Um, I was trying to eliminate as many Jacksons as I could from my life and I'm still very interested in natural makeup obviously uh, but I've expanded my horizons to include you know indie makeup and um, natural makeup and a little bit of store-bought makeup and Too Faced stuff I just I just love makeup um, so when I started my channel I was not cruelty free but I was kind of unintentionally because I was purchasing from companies that were natural so the more YouTubers I got to know that were in the natural community, the more I started to hear about animal testing and it was kind of a shock because I honestly was sort of a blind consumer um, up until that point uh, because I never heard about animal testing. It's never in the news, it's never mentioned. Um, I honestly thought that it was, <laughs> it was like, you know, back in the day a whole bunch of hippies like ran in there and opened all the cages and, and that it hadn't been going on for years. Um, and I just had no idea. And then the more I got to know, and the more people I got to know, the more it upset me, and the more I had to include that in my channel. Uh, because I don't support uh, cruelty for vanity. Um, I don't think that's right that, you know, a creature um, should suffer from a lipstick. So for the last year, I've been, I'd say 99% cruelty free. Um, I've had, you know, like one or two purchases that uh, were bought out and I wasn't aware. Um, but that's just going to happen. I mean, you know, companies are always changing. Um, but it's really stressful uh, being on the internet and trying to stick to guidelines that are very blurry um, because you, you're very open for attack. <laughs> because people on the internet are very kind and understanding. No. So I've done my absolute best up until this point to be as cruelty free as possible. Um, and I think that's really the best that anyone can do is just to do your best. But I went to Sephora a couple of, I think last week, and I was kind of perusing the Sephora delights. Um, and I was looking at Too Faced stuff, and then I got sort of sucked in by a Sephora worker lady who first of all complimented my outfit, so I know she was full of shit. But she dragged me over to like the Sephora products area and was like, I'm really bad at telling salesmen, like, get away from me. I'm just very nice. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, um, I'll hear you talk about your lipsticks. But anyway, so she went through her whole spiel, and I said, you know, I told her, I was like, well, you know, I can't really purchase these items. They are delicious and delightful. Um, but, you know, your your home brand is not cruelty-free. Um, Sephora brand and Ulta brand are not cruelty-free at all. They sell in China. They test their products on animals. They're just not cruelty-free in any way. Um, and she was, she, first of all, she looked at me like I was speaking French, and... Um, and then she was like, oh, okay. And she's like, well, you know, the Too Faced stuff, that's pretty much it. And then she said Kat Von D. Now, I knew that Kat Von D was third party owned. Kat Von D is owned by Sephora. Um, but I'd never really, I had, I had drooled over her things, but I hadn't really thought about playing with her stuff. Um, so I went over and I played with it. <laughs> and so then I was looking at a palette and I put it down because I was like, well, you know, she's third party owned and I just can't. Um, and I went over to the Too Faced stuff, and I was looking at Too Faced stuff. <sighs> and the more I thought about it, the more I started to think that the, the area is way too gray for me to be so hard on myself all the time. Um, because I really feel like if I purchase Too Faced products, which are 100% cruelty free, but if I purchase them from an Ulta or a Sephora, who have home companies that are their own, that test on animals, then still some of my money is going to a larger company that does test. Am I right? So that sort of got me thinking, well maybe I should broaden my standards a little bit and more focus on companies individually um, and only support companies that I think have good morals and are doing activism towards animal cruelty elimination, um, who are doing stuff for their community, who are very involved in their um, products uh, and social media and their customers um, and maybe stop being so close-minded about companies that I'm supporting. And so I had all these feels so I went on the internet and I talked to some of my lady sisters and I told them all my feels and I was like hey lady sisters 
I don't understand the difference between purchasing Too Faced from Sephora and purchasing Kat Von D from Sephora because Kat Von D does not sell in China. Um, she's not owned by L'Oreal, which I think is the devil. Um, she's, I think she's a great activist, uh, not only for animals, but for women. Um, she's a vegetarian, so I know she cares about animals. If you look at her Instagram, it's like 90% her cat, so you know that she loves animals. And she's also addressed it. I feel like a lot of companies, when they're approached uh, with questions on their cruelty-free status, they kind of back away slowly. Uh, but she's addressed it directly and said, you know, no, my products are not tested on animals. I am owned by Sephora, but I do not sell in China. I'm very blunt about it. If you know me at all, you know that I love animals and I would not do that. So I don't know. I feel like every company is different. So I will continue to be as, cru as cruelty free as I can. I will never support anything that isn't cruelty free, but I am going to kind of slide my standards a little bit on third party um, just because I feel like it's all, I mean, we're, you're putting your money in a place that's telling people where you want your money to go. Um, that's not to say that I think all third parties are equal because they aren't. Um, I will not support any company that has been bought out by L'Oreal. That, to me, is just, you wanted the money. Um, but Kat Von D, I feel like, has, she started out with Sephora. She's never left Sephora. She's Sephora brand her whole time. She's not selling in China, and I'm okay with her. So I'm probably going to start showing some Kat Von D products on my channel. Um, right now, she's the only one that I've investigated enough to where I don't feel like... She's, she's pretty much the only third-party company that I've really, really looked into and that I'm, you know gonna support not that there aren't other good ones she's just the starting point um so yeah uh I guess I stand on cruelty free as much as you can be and a little bit of third party depending on who the company is so yeah and I feel like also with the internet and women in general there's a whole lot of judgment and I think where we go sideways in this community is that nobody's talking about being cruelty free or animal testing, they're just picking each other apart on like their levels of commitment that are imaginary anyway. Uh, so I think where we need to focus our attentions instead of saying, oh, you purchased from them, you're a terrible person, you are not cruelty free enough. Oh, you do this, then you're also an asshole. Instead of doing that, I think we all need to band together and get the word out because I never hear about animal testing. If I wasn't in the community now, I probably still wouldn't be hearing about it. I never heard about it before. I never heard about it before YouTube. I don't hear about it outside of YouTube or Instagram, and that's all because those are the social circles that I'm in. Um, you know, I'm in a couple of non-cruelty-free groups just because I love makeup, and they never talk about it. I mean, it's just, it's not really discussed, and I think a lot of people don't know, and I think the people that do know may not be aware of what all is involved in animal testing. So I just really feel like instead of attacking each other in this community, because we're all in the same boat, I think we need to band together and just do what we can to get rid of it all together because it's pointless. So I hope this video was slightly informative on where I stand on my channel and uh, that way you won't be so shocked if you see some Kat Von D in the near future. Um, but yeah, I just love her and I think she's awesome and I think she's an awesome company and I don't feel guilty putting my money in uh, companies like that. So yeah, <laughs> so let's all stick together. Uh, let's all try and end it the best we can, get the word out about it. I mean, I just, it just floors me the lack of, of information that's out there. It's just crazy to me. Crazy! <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!